Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers, and we want to evaluate each expression. So if I was given this expression, negative 11 minus 8 plus 1 minus negative 6, okay? So negative 11 minus 8 plus 1 minus a negative 6. Well, what I need to do here now is, um, well, I like to personally make everything addition. I just find it easier. Everyone has a different method. That's the way I like to do it. So I have the negative 11 here. I start with that. Minus an 8 is the same thing as plus a negative 8 plus 1. And then the double negatives make a plus a positive. Plus a positive 6. So I have my two negative numbers and two positive numbers. So I'm going to kind of break it apart the two parts like that. And negative 11 plus a negative 8, they're both negative. So we're going to end up with a negative 19, right? Just like 11 plus 8 would be. Negative 11 plus negative 8 is a negative 19. Well, then 1 plus 6 is just 7. So now I have negative 19 plus 7, okay? And so what I want you to think about, this one's a, a little tricky, okay, is how we can do this. So if we have negative 19 here on the number line, okay, and somewhere here is 0, right? And we, we need to move to the right 7 units, okay? So we're moving to the right 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's where we are. If we count down here, negative 18, negative 17, I'm not going to fit here, 16, 15, 14, here's 14, here's negative 13, and then here's negative 12, okay? And then, <laughs> that was a negative 16, right? Or 15 and 16 are in there. Over there. Okay, now I'll fit it. But negative 12 would be my final answer, negative 12. So negative 12 would be here, the answer that we need. Now, the way, another way you can do it, you just have to keep your, your um, everything in line in your brain is, I like to do this. I'll say 19. So I know negative 19 is on the negative side, and positive side is on the right. So I'm moving it to the right, but I know it won't outweigh and become positive. I know it's still going to be negative. So it's almost similar to that saying is uh, 19 minus 7, right? 19 minus 7, which comes out to be 12, and then I slap on the negative at the end. So I know it's going to be negative, but the difference between the two, 19 and 7 in a sense, is 12, and then just slap on a negative at the end, okay? And we can actually see that, if you, if you write it like this, I know it's a little too much, but 19 plus 7 like that, if I pull out a negative 1 from both, of, both parts, now we have 19 minus 7 on the inside, and negative 1 on the outside, so 19 minus 7 came out to be that 12, and then negative 1 multiplied in on the inside makes it negative 12, that's another way to look at it, but that's, um, yeah. Um, sometimes I just do that or never a lot, or you practice enough, you just kind of recognize that 7 apart is 12, boom, there's your answer negative. So again, let's recap. We have negative 11 plus, uh, sorry, minus 8 plus 1 minus a negative 6. And I wrote this minus an 8 to be plus negative 8, and then I combine that to be negative 19. Here, we are uh, subtracting negative, is adding a positive, so 1 plus 6. And that combined to be uh, 7. So now we have negative 19 plus 7. Negative 19 plus 7 is negative 12 by many of our methods here to get there. 